Hi everybody. Um, I just wanted to quickly go over one assignment and how to do that assignment. That assignment is Google Classroom 22, but basically this goes for any assignment that is a PDF as well. So if there is something that I do put on Google Classroom and it's a PDF, so it could be any essays that we do with DBQs or anything like that where you can't technically type on the document itself. I want to show you how you can edit your own and then we can go from there. So let's look at what's Google Classroom 22. Okay, I'm going to put this in the comments also. So obviously Google Classroom 22 is a PDF. Notice it says PDF right there. Um, I put in the directions. Click on the PDF below. Open with Adobe Acrobat for Google Drive. Use the tools at the right of the screen, right top of the screen, to complete the questions. Okay, so basically the, the directions are right there. If you just read that, you should probably be able to complete. But let's do it. So we click open. All right, the next thing in the direction says open with Google, oh, sorry, uh, Adobe Acrobat for Google Drive. So I'm going to click on that. All right, once I click on that, it should be absolutely editable, as in you can totally do anything you want to this document, but you have to use the tools at the top right. Okay, so what I like to use is I like to use the drawing tool and I like to use the text tool. Okay, so it looks like the pen here or pencil, and it looks like a T. Okay, the pen or pencil helps me highlight or underline things. I could put little markings if I want. So like if I say, oh, I like this area right here. Let me put a star. All right, let me highlight this or underline this. I think this is important. Okay, and when I'm done, I hit save. If I don't like that information anymore, well, first off, I have to click off of the marker. If I don't like that information anymore, I click on the information I just highlighted and I can change the color if I like. Let's go yellow. All right, let's say I want to do, um, I don't know, let's say I want to change it to blue again. I know it doesn't matter. All right, let's say I don't like it at all and I want to trash it. I'll just trash it. Let's say if I don't like the star anymore, I'll trash that. Okay, and then when I'm done, I hit save. That's the big thing. All right, no matter what, when you're done anything, just hit the word save at the top. It should save automatically for you, but that's not always been the case in the past. Okay, so if I want to mark any text on here, and that's something we will be doing together very soon, especially with essays, all right, make sure that you are looking at that. Okay, you can do that. The background essay questions here, these are the ones that I really care about. I want you guys to answer these questions. So basically, you can use the T button here, the text button, all right, and you can go underneath and you can go ahead and click and you can type anything you want as your answer. No matter what it is, I don't really care what you're doing, but as again, that is your answer. So once you put that as your answer, okay, and you're good with it and you feel good about it, you can go into the next problem if you want, or you can just hit save so that way it saves automatically there. Click on it. You can change the text. You can change the, uh, the size of the font, or you can just get rid of it. Obviously, I don't like that answer, so I'm going to get rid of it, and I'm going to hit save again. Right. When I'm done t uh, doing any text or typing, just click off of the T. So again, if I'm done doing any marks with my marker, I click off of the marker. When I'm done with any text, I click off of the T. And I want you to answer all questions. So questions one through six, six obviously has vocab, and I want you to give me your best definitions of those. Okay, so try your best. Right? It's very easy. Again, you're just using the T, and you're using the marker from Adobe Acrobat for Google Drive. Why do we do this? Because obviously we're in Google Classroom and this stuff will save in your Google Drive. Right? You all have a student Google Drive that this saves to, so it's kind of nice that way. So just to recap, how do I get to where I was just at? I click on the PDF, I click Open With, I click Adobe Acrobat for Google Drive. Once that's done, it should open up for me. There it is, and now I've got my text button, and I've got my marker button, and I can go ahead and do anything I need to do to answer those questions. Okay, when I'm done, I make sure that I hit the word save, that'll pop up up here at the top. All right, if you have any questions about this, by all means, ask me, I'm here to help. All right, I'm gonna put this video link right here in the comments, so that way you guys can see it, and you know exactly what to do if you can't understand the directions. All right, people, have a great day. And a great day to be a cool.